Collinwood before the turn of the century. A time when the great house was caught up in events more bizarre and evil than it has ever known. On this night, a young man seeks safety in a deserted house. While under a mysterious spell, he has committed murder. Now a fugitive from justice, he will soon discover that he is not the only victim of the supernatural at Collinwood. Well, I was going to ask you the same question. They sent you here to find me, didn't they? Who are you talking about? The Collinses. They've been looking for me for several days. Turk. Are you... Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. But you shouldn't have come here. Why not? Because I'm hiding here and I don't want anyone to find me. You don't have to worry about me. I'm certainly not going to tell anyone. Oh, yes, I... I know you aren't. Because you're not leaving. Not leaving? I... What are you talking about? You, uh... You did notice this when you came in, didn't you? I did, yes. I thought it unusual, to say the least, to find an empty coffin here. Oh, it, uh... It's not empty during the day. What's in it during the day? I am. You. That's right. <laughs> Dirk, if this is your idea of a joke, I'm not amused. You're use. not going anywhere. Now listen, there's nothing you can do to keep me here. You give me no choice. Absolutely no choice, because I don't want anyone to know that I'm here and you have to keep my secret. What secret? Oh, you're going to find out. Dirk. Soon enough. What's the matter with you? Have you gone mad? What? What? No! No!
It will go easier on you, Rachel, if you bear your soul to me now. Tell me everything in detail. I tell you, I don't know anything. Rachel, I have just suffered a great loss, and I'm trying to control myself. But you make it extremely difficult. I can't tell you what I don't know. Well, then let's go over what I know. My poor wife is dead, poisoned, the result of a foul and hideous plot concocted by you and Timothy Shaw. But I had nothing to do with it. With the actual murder itself? No. But you knew about Tim's plan. You gave him aid and comfort, as you always do. But that's a lie. And you know where he's hiding now, don't you, Rachel? No, no. Don't lie to me. You do know where he is. No, I don't know. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. Rachel, would you prefer to be questioned by the police? Yes, Reverend, I would. Since I'm innocent, I have nothing to fear. Rachel, you have always occupied a very special place in my thoughts. There is no one who would like to believe in your innocence more than I. For that reason, I'm going to give you a chance to prove that innocence. What would I have to do? Nothing. Except to remain here in the school until further notice. You're not to leave the building under any circumstances. What would that prove? That would prove your sincerity and loyalty. If you were here in the school, there is no way you could aid Tim. However, if you were to leave the school, I could only assume that it would be to contact him. And I should have you arrested as an accomplice to murder. You may go to your room now. Reverend Trask, I just heard the dreadful news. Is there anything I can do to help? You must forgive me, Miss Collins. Forgive you? For what? If I appeared to be startled at seeing you standing there, I, I should have known that a woman of your high character would respond to another's grief. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't know your wife very well, of course. But... Well, she was not an easy person to know, but she was a, a good woman and a devoted wife. I felt that the first time I met her. That's very kind of you, Miss Collins. I'm sorry, I... I tried to be brave about this, because I know it's what she would have wanted, but I find it so difficult. Of course you do. I understand perfectly. She was my strength, you know. My whole reason for being. Her passing has left a void which may be impossible to fill. I'm sure that she would be the first one to tell you that your life must go on. You knew her better than you thought you did. Yes, my life must go on. But what of the school? What will become of it without Minerva? The school still has you. Me? No, dear lady. At best, I am merely a competent administrator. Well, you are much more than that. But Minerva... Minerva was the driving force. The lifeblood of this institution. And without her, the future seems very bleak indeed. With all due respect, I don't believe that. I have faith in you. And the future of your school. Miss Collins... I am not deserving of such faith. I think you are. I thank the Almighty for giving me the privilege of knowing you, Miss Collins. Oh, Reverend Trask, you should get some rest. The ordeal is not over for you yet. No, I cannot rest. Not until Minerva's murderer has been brought to justice. I was shocked when I heard it was Timothy Shaw. Have the police found him yet? No. We have only one possible clue to his whereabouts. Rachel Drummond. Rachel? Yes. She and Tim have always been 
very close, and I have reason to believe that she knows where he's hiding. Unfortunately, I have been unable to get her cooperation. Well, if you think it will help, I'll be willing to talk to Rachel myself. She might tell me, or at least give me a hint of where Tim is. Miss Collins, you are an extraordinary woman. I believe that it may help for you to talk to Rachel. She may feel less inhibited with a woman. She's in her room. I'll go and get her. Uh, won't you please sit down? Thank you. On her way to see Timothy Shaw, I'm sure. I've searched the entire building. She's not here. Well, I would assume that the next part of their plan would be to get away from Collinsport and out of the state. But neither of them has any money. They can't travel without it. They're going to have to find someone to help them. The question is, who? Well, they don't know anyone outside Collinwood, do they? No one with money. Is there anyone inside Collinwood who might be willing to help them? One person comes to mind. Who? Cousin Barnabas. He's very fond of Rachel. If she needed help, she'd, he'd be the first one she'd go to. Of course. She may very well be on her way there now. Well, I'll get there before she does. Miss Collins, what are you going to do? Rachel is traveling on foot. I have a carriage. I'll get to the old house first. I'll tell Cousin Barnabas what's happening. When he is aware of the details, he won't give any help to either... Uh, Timothy or Rachel. Get me Collins Port 7453, please. Mr. Hanley, Reverend Trask here. I just wanted you to know that everything is going quite smoothly. No, they haven't caught him yet, but they will. The powers that be are all on our side. You rendered your services most efficiently. I'm grateful. It means you may be assured I will keep my end of our little bargain. Your secret vice will remain a secret. Is anyone here? Dirk. Good evening, Miss Judith. Where have you been? We've been looking everywhere for you for the past two days. Well, why are you looking for me? You have some explaining to do. I don't know why. Don't you remember you dismissed me the other day, remember? I don't care what I did. While you're on this property, you are accountable for what you do for your actions, and your actions have been very peculiar lately. Peculiar? Yes, I demand to know what you told Jameson that upset him so the other evening. You don't know what I told Jameson? I know it was some outrageous lie about Cousin Barnabas. Mr. Edward wouldn't give us the details. Oh, yes, Mr. Edward, he, he would spare you the gory details, wouldn't he? Just what did you say to Jameson? Well, now, I don't know if I should tell you, because it, it might damage the Collins's good name. 
Well, I know one thing. You're not going to get another opportunity to damage that good name. I'm giving you exactly 24 hours to pack whatever you have and get off this estate. And if I don't leave in 24 hours? I'll have you forcibly put off by the police. You know, I don't think you're going to get a chance to do that. What are you talking about? You know, a lot of things have changed in the last few days, Miss Judith. And they're going to change even more in just a minute. I haven't time to stand here and listen to any more of your nonsense. You'll listen. How dare you? Get out of my way. Dirk, I'm ordering you to get out of my way. You don't boss me around. Not anymore. Don't tell me what I can do and what I cannot do. This is my property, and I'll do the ordering, and you'll obey. You're wrong. You know, sometimes people change their roles in life, and you have been a, a mistress so long that you don't know what it's like to be a servant. Dirk, stay away from me. But you and I are about to change roles. Yes. Yours and mine are about to change. I am going to become the master, and you are going to become the servant. Dirk, let me yeah. leave here. I didn't mean what I said about the police. You can have whatever time you need to get away from here. that you? Oh, Reverend Trask. Miss Collins, I decided to come and offer my assistance. Are you all right? Yes. Have you spoken to your cousin Barnabas? He wasn't here when I arrived. No one was here. Miss Collins, something is wrong. Something has happened to you. No. Yes, there's been a complete change in you since you left the school. Jane? Yes. Please tell me what's happened. Nothing. I'd better get you back to Collinwood and summon a doctor. Good Lord! Take your hand down, Miss Collins. No, please. How did this happen? Who did this to you? I, I want to go back to Collinwood. Miss Collins, you must tell me what happened. Those marks are identical to the ones I found on Charity's neck. Charity? You must tell me how they were inflicted. Why? Right. I, I can't tell you. Why not? Because I'm afraid. Afraid of him. Who? Who are you afraid of? Miss Collins, you must tell me who is responsible for this. My dear lady, I've already suffered one loss. I don't want to lose you as well. Lose me? You have been a dear, good friend, in many ways a benefactress. You came to this house tonight on my behalf. If any harm has come to you, I shall feel responsible. Oh, but you mustn't. Well, then please tell me who did this. There was someone here when you arrived, wasn't there? Take me back to Collinwood. Wait. When I came in that door a few moments ago, you didn't know it was I. You were expecting someone else. Dirk, that's the name you mentioned. No. Dirk Wilkins. He was here when you arrived. He did this. 
What kind of an inhuman animal is he? Wait for him to come back. But the coffin... 